Good morning to you on Fellowship Day 183. Feeling great this morning off the back of a, a really enjoyable podcast conversation with uh, Heidi Gardner and Anna Kebke yesterday. Uh, see above previous days talking about that podcast. But coming straight into this morning, it's a, a busy one. We've got a virtual conference to balance alongside um, more onboarding for our uh, new master's student team members who are kicking off their research projects in the lab at the moment. And it's on that subject that I want to talk to you about this morning. Uh, as part of that, you know, being a small team, those who are you know post-grad level and above in terms of lab experience, all of us are helping supervise the master's students. Um, and at this early stage of our team, we're still relatively small. Um, I'm definitely directly part of that lab supervision team. So that's a long way of saying that this morning I'll be back in the lab. You know, I'll be mixing the, the pills and the potions and um, lab coat on, lab specs on, you know, doing everything as it was in the days of my master's project and PhD days and of course postdoc as well um but yeah uh taking no distance from the lab now that i'm the, in the position of leadership which helps me get to distilling today's theme which is as a leader always being able to go from soup to nuts if you've never heard the term soup to nuts before i quite like it um apparently it's uh, an american turn of phrase meaning every possible detail, you know, from the, the smallest minutia up to the big picture. And uh, in the past, I've actually really struggled with that. In my first independent position on my you know, first junior academic fellowship, I, I was in too much of a rush to, to prove myself as the leader, but busy myself with a lot of what an academic finds himself doing, grant writing, writing, teaching courses, trying to build collaborations and spend a lot of time out on the road. I don't think I spent enough time reminding myself that I can actually still be at the coal face and do the science myself. And there's more to that than just giving your ego a boost or yourself a pat on the back that you've still got the credentials that you've built up over the years. But you know, on top of that, for the likes of today, you know, I think it's really beneficial to be able to show that the person who's leading the lab is not simply pointing the finger and barking orders, but leading by example. I've spoken before about safety practices and how you as the leader have a responsibility for the people in your care to get them home safe. And I think this soup to nuts idea is uh, a broader version of that. Uh, this is the the bigger picture moment where it's safety, but it's also everything in conjunction. It's just good practice in the discipline of chemistry, how to do things appropriately, how to you know do various manipulations in the most scientifically disciplined manner possible, how to record all the data you collect appropriately and back it up and analyze and reanalyze and repeat and repeat to make your conclusions and your data analysis more robust and less sensitive to misinterpretation. So going from soup to nuts as the leader is your ability to be able still to talk about the minutia of working at the coal face whilst at the very same time being able to articulate the big picture ideas and what everything in the lab is going towards, no matter how badly things mess up on a given day or how abstract and removed a particular experiment might feel from any given ap application. You as the leader maintain that vision, the big picture idea, the momentum it pushes everything forward, regardless of what hurdles pop up along the way. And it is not easy. We are 
you're talking about being able to do a lot. The the thing that other thing that makes it not very easy is that as well as things along the lines of uh, you know maybe rushing too much to get out of the lab or away from the coal face to focus on all of the leadership responsibilities, the more administrative work. The other challenge in being able to go from soup to nuts is not to spend so much time at the coal face on the day to day that you become a micromanager. The ability to balance both sides of this same coin is about being able to do both and balance both and maintain competence in both the small tasks and the big picture ideas. But if you lean too heavily on still being at the coal face, then those conversations that you have with team members who are you know, running the day-to-day -day responsibilities of such projects, your conversations with them start to look like micromanagement tasks, constantly checking in, never giving them the responsibility, the distance with which to develop their own leadership to solve their own problems. And it can be undermining. So consider all the while that whilst it's very worthwhile rising to the challenge of being able to go from soup to nuts and understand all the details, small and large. Don't lean too heavily on the small details such that it makes you look like you're trying to control everything. It's a fine balance, a difficult one, and certainly not one that I've succeeded at in every step along the way to this leadership role. I hope that gives you solid consideration for today. Have a great one, and we'll see you again soon. If you like what you're hearing on the podcast, head over to the website where not only will you find the written blog versions of these podcasts, you'll find my leadership blog series, the Daily Thought series, and information about my book on managing the imposter phenomenon. We also have even more free resources and webinars linked to the YouTube channel. So head on over to dr-mark-read.com. That's dr-mark with a c-reid.com. Thanks again for listening.